The Mind Reels today on Context and Tools of the Artist. I went the other night uh, to see guitar player extraordinaire, bluegrass folk aficionado, Billy Strings. And I was talking to a friend of mine who was also there and he made a, a comment that I think is worth uh, visiting at this point. And he was talking about it's not only the speed at which Billy Strings can play a bunch of notes within a second, it's also his phrasing that's important, that's beautiful. Now, phrasing, if you're a musician, you completely understand that. Uh, and in a layman's terms, you could play, you know, a thousand notes per second and people just be blown away. Like, My gosh, how fast is this guy? That's, that's great, but what order do you put those notes in? As Miles Davis said one time, it's not important the notes that you play, sometimes it's the notes that you don't play. It's the pauses, it's the beats, it's the, I put four notes here and then three notes there, and I create a phrase. I, I, I create a dialogue with the notes that I, that I play. That is what translates and that's what's remarkable. Billy Strings has his ability and many musicians have the ability to phrase or put together in a certain order, a certain amount of notes, certain amount of pauses, silences, that really speaks to you, that, that, that can move you. And I thought this translates into almost every other art. I mean, let's say a writer, for example, you could write a book that's a thousand pages long, just filled with words. That's, that's great. That's wonderful that you were that inspired to write something that long. But what comes across sometimes is the order in which you put those words. Do you have extraordinarily long sentences that go on and on? Or do you have little short, you know, Ernest Hemingway terse little phrases that you string together? Or do you mix them up? And sometimes the art comes through your decisions in the context of what you're writing, in the order of what you're writing, how you phrase the words, your phraseology. If you're a painter, you could use, you know, billions of colors. But which ones do you choose? Which ones do you put? in certain spots. Which ones do you use in the foreground, in the background? Those decisions, you can have all the tools that you want, but how you use them and the order in which you use them and how you put together is really the art itself. So artists, sharpen your tools, get all your tools together. Find out the order in which they go in, the order in which is aesthetically pleasing or aesthetically not pleasing or abstract or uh, insane or in order or chaotic or whatever, insert whatever adjective you want there. Because that's what overall becomes presented inside the canvas, inside the theater, inside the frame, inside the television set, inside the mind of the people that are, that are looking at it. Get your tools together, put them down on paper, put them down on canvas, put them on a stage, put them in a song, on a guitar, on a saxophone, whatever instrument you use. If you're creating something, some sort of art, get it all together and then just take a moment and think about the order, the overall picture, how it's coming across, the phrase. That will shine through in the end more than all the notes in the world, all the words in the world, all the dance moves in the world, all the brush strokes, all the colors. How it looks in the end, how it's put together, is what people see. You can listen to a fabulous guitar player play a gazillion notes, but how did he put them together? What melody is stuck in your head? I mean, shredding on a guitar, it's kind of hard to, to remember that. But the melody underlying the phrase, the call and response, that's what sticks in your head. The colors that were put on a painting, how they were put together, that's what sticks in your mind. The poem with the delicate phrasing, the pauses, that's what sticks in your mind. The overall picture. That's what makes the mind real.
that's going to stand out a million times more than just your ability to create, how you create, what you create. You think about all of that and you'll grow as an artist. Did you hear that rooster? Even he chose the right moment to make that sound. Probably not for the purposes of this. It, it just fit, you know? I chose to put that phrase there.